So hello guys, so welcome to this new video after a few months without posting nothing and in this one I want to show you how you can deploy your own GTA 5 server to somewhere, okay, it can be Amazon, AWS, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, I mean any kind of server anywhere, okay, so uh, in this case, I will be using Vulture, which is another platform that allows you to create also your own servers. Uh, so let's start. Let's create a new server from scratch. We will choose uh, okay this cloud compute, which is the, the cheapest, the simplest. And uh, yeah, let's say for example, I don't know Madrid. Uh huh. Okay, and we will say, well, uh, server size. Mm, should I, 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 I saw this can be cheaper. It says 720 per month. Mm -hmm. Well, but I think it's fine because I actually will delete it after this video, so it's fine. I will use Ubuntu. And I think that's it. I think we, we don't need much more. Well, uh, let me check. I think maybe if I use an American one or Frankfurt, London. No, yeah, the price is the same. Okay, it doesn't matter. I think, ah, okay, okay. I think this stuff is what, okay, regular performance. I think this is enough, some reg regular performance and Okay, yeah. Well, let me close the door. Yeah, because my father is playing the guitar and probably is is also you can hear it. Okay, so let's let's try to play this, okay? So we have already our Okay, so it's installing. Okay, so finally we have our server running. So let's open it. And we can see now here we have the IP address, so we can already go into the server. So we we'll do SSH root, then we paste the IP and enter. Uh, what connection refused? Ah, uh, yeah, probably it's ah uh, the yeah probably the server is still. It's still configuring, it's still not ready yet. And we can try ping it, and but this is working. The ping is working. So let's try again. Ah, yeah, you see, now it's working. Okay, so now we can put the password and we are, we are in, we are inside our new server. Okay, so what do we need to do? The first step is to install Rage MP server here so for that we go to the wiki page of rage multiplayer and we go here under linux and ubuntu okay and we will just run this what we have here so so just paste this stuff which will yeah Basically, what we will need from here is probably just this library. It's basically that's why it's, we're running this. So now we will have to run this. <coughs> okay, so this was run. Okay, and now we will actually go here where we will download the server. Okay, so right here in the, yeah, this is the home of root. So we will just run this. Now we will uncompress the file. Now we will just go inside. Yeah, and we have already here the all the files. <clears throat> and now we will just add execution uh, permission for RageMP server. Well, which already was, and that's it. We already have our server ready, so we can already run it. 
and that's it we actually already have our server okay so we can now try to connect okay but for that we will now <coughs> open our rage mp multiplayer the the client the client part okay and here and that's the thing here uh, when you have to put the ip address you you don't put this one okay this one no because this one is the local local ip in the network of the computer <clears throat> so what we have to put here is actually the ip address of the server which is this one the one we use to to access it through ssh so this is the address we have to put okay and and yeah we can see the port is the same okay now let, let's try to connect well let's see what will happen <clears throat> Okay, so we can see. Ah, uh, what is your game version is not supported, but please upgrade. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, probably my my client is out outdated. Okay, so I already fixed the issue, and the problem was just that GTA Five was not updated. Okay, so I just had to update um, GTA Five. And now we are ready. So um, one thing that I'm not sure now if I, ah, okay, I already did it. <clears throat> so basically, uh, okay, let's, I think we have to do reload. Yeah. Uh, status, no. Uh, would be, okay, oh, uh, reset yes <coughs> so this is basically the the firewall okay and okay now it's inactive uh, let's enable it yes status. okay so it's empty no no so now actually if we probably exit we cannot go back and do ssh because the port is open it is closed <coughs> so we just have to say you have to allow 22 and now now it's open for the ssh and now <clears throat> we need also two ports to open because if you realize when we run rage mp it's running on the address on the port 22005 and also we need to open the 006 22006 because it's the port that is used uh, to transfer the resources okay so these two ports must be also open that's very important otherwise it won't work so we open this port <clears throat> and we also open the other one and that's it that's it with this we should be already able to run it so let's try uh, so let's run RageMP server. So it's running, and now let's run this. You can see that the IP address is already there, the one from the server. Uh, by the way, if you have any any doubts or any issues, whatever, <clears throat> just write down in the comments. I will be happy to to read you, and also if you want to suggest me for the next video that would be great okay so i already see yeah it's it's already running okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay yeah just, just yeah and it should appear the like the 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 server by default okay so the, yeah this is the the actually the location by default okay with this character by default everything is by default so because i just downloaded and executed right so just one 
last thing I want to sh tell you. Okay, I hope I can just minimize this. Okay, so if we if we close this, yeah, we you can see already here incoming connection and actually this IP is my IP. So yeah, so okay. So basically, uh, the point is, uh, if you have seen the other video, the only thing you would have to do is go to client packages. And here, basically, you you would have to to paste uh, all the. Yeah, I have a copy here. So yeah, basically, from here, client packages. Yeah, here are you know here are the the scripts I created in the in the other video. So basically, you would have just to maybe upload it to GitHub or something. And here in this in this folder, you can just clone it you know and you can have your your server actually you now because that's all about it so yeah i think that's all that's everything for this video so i hope you like it and uh, i will be aware if you write something or suggesting next videos or whatever so see you